before I start talking about the digital art supplies that I'm currently using, I would like to say a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. You can get your first audiobook for free plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash Echo Gillette or text Echo Gillette to 500, 500. That's E-C-H-O-G-I-L-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Audible originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrity storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and more. I'm actually about to start an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. Hank Green is a fellow YouTube person who I respect and look up to a lot. So this was an instant number one New York Times bestseller and also Hank Green's debut novel and I have no idea what to expect. I'm going into this completely blind so it's gonna be interesting. Okay cool time to start the video. Hello hello my name is Echo. Real quick I wanted to talk to you about my digital art supplies that is all of the programs that I use the hardware that I use and all of the stuff that I actually paid for. The first thing I'm going to start with is my largest piece of hardware that I have mentioned in multiple previous videos which is this iPad. It is the largest, most expensive, high capacity iPad that I could buy as of last year. This has over 500 gigs of capacity and I still have 488 gigs available. This iPad is worth over a thousand dollars even with the Black Friday deal that I bought it with, but I wholeheartedly feel like it was a thousand dollars well spent. And the entire reason I bought it is because Apple released this. Otherwise, I never would have bought an iPad. So for most of my life, my art process has been to draw all of my lines art with a pen and paper and then scan it and color it digitally in Photoshop with a mouse. I don't like coloring things with traditional art medium. It just always comes out awful and textured. I don't like texture in my coloring. And it was pretty much my extent of digital artwork until a few years ago when I got this. This is a Wacom Intuos drawing tablet. This is like the basic one that pretty much every digital artist starts with, mainly just because it's cheap and it works. The downside with this is that there's a little bit of a disconnect because it's not an on-screen drawing tablet. It's super easy to install though, so I did really like that. If you're like a super, super beginner digital artist, I very much recommend one of these because this is just like the thing that everyone starts with. But after a while, I realized that that tablet wasn't really cutting it for me anymore and I had the funds to upgrade. And so I kind of had to make the decision between an on-screen drawing tablet and an iPad. So because my phone and computer are all Apple devices, that meant that if I got an iPad, all of the devices would work fluidly together. If I got an actual drawing tablet, Tablet, then not only would I have a device that is literally designed for artists, but I would also have access to things like Photoshop and uh, all of the programs that are on my computer. Versus with an iPad, the only ones I would have access to would be what I can find in the App Store. But the thing that really pushed my decision in the iPad direction was the portability. I travel a fair bit and I'm a workaholic, so even my vacations are usually working vacations. So the idea of actually having a device that I could take with me more easily than a full drawing tablet that has to be plugged into a computer was very appealing. I like having the option to be able to move around my house and draw wherever I'm comfortable. If you're an artist and you already have an iPad that's compatible, I highly recommend getting an Apple Pencil. It's $100, but it's $100 very well spent. There are a couple things that I don't really like about the actual hardware, starting with the fact that this is very slippery. I love the minimalistic design, but I'm constantly afraid that this is just gonna slip out of my hand and fly across the room. But there's tons of grips that you can buy for these now. And this one came with a really cute cap that has these little like devil horns. This one is also lined with a magnet so I can like stick it to things. See? I'm also gonna recommend getting an artist glove just because you look super cool, but also because it keeps your device clean and it stops you from drawing with your fist. Naturally, I also recommend getting a case just because they're extremely nice, they protect your device, they cost like $12, and it can turn into a stand so you can draw at a slight angle like this, or you can draw at an upwards angle like this. Very useful. On the downside, I feel like that can be a little flimsy, so I also bought one of these. This is just like a $4 stand that I bought from Ikea, and it's actually really nice. I use this for my computer sometimes too. It was an impulse buy, but it's an impulse buy well worth it. So now let's actually break into the software. The major pitfall of the iPad for the purpose of digital art is that there are extremely limited programs, but that is something that will be solved with time and as the market progresses. Something that I've said in multiple videos is that I use a program program called Procreate. It is a program that I paid $11 for at the time, and that might seem like a lot for an app, but when you stop and consider the fact that the Adobe Creative Suite is like $20 a month at a minimum, it's nothing. I paid $11 for Procreate, 
and I pay $35 a month for the creative suite. Do you realize how much money that is over the course of a year? It's so expensive. So if you were just gonna do one of those things, iPad's great. Procreate has tons of new features all the time. They just added a cropping and liquify tool on top of an ellipsy and square tool. The second app that I highly recommend actually just paying for is a duet display. What this app does is that it actually lets you turn your iPad into a second monitor for your computer, which essentially means that it turns it into an on-screen drawing tablet. So you can access Photoshop or any of the programs that you have on your laptop or desktop from your iPad. The one major downside to Duet Display is that the Apple Pencil is not designed to be used with a desktop interface, so there's no right and left click buttons like you would find on a regular stylus. So navigating that interface can be a little bit more difficult because the actual tools are designed for a mobile touchscreen interface. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. The last two apps that I want to recommend that I've actually purchased are Animation Creator HD and Flip a Clip. These are both animation programs. I've mainly just been trying to practice with animation because I'm not good at it at all. Animation Creator HD is currently $3.99 on the App Store and Flip a Clip is $5 I want to say. Flip a Clip is free to download but there are premium features and I think you pay $5 for the entire package. I'm not 100% sure because I've did this a while ago. Apps are so cheap in terms of software and they're just getting better and better. Would recommend. Out of all the things that I have thrown money at in the digital art sphere, these are the ones that I feel like I got my money's worth or more. I'll be putting links to all of this hardware and software in the description if you want to have a look for yourself. I also tried a bunch of free art apps a while ago, so if you want to see the video of me doing that, that will be linked in the cards in the description as well. If you have an on-screen drawing tablet, please tell me what it is in the comments and what you think about it, because I'm probably gonna get one soon. Sorry I've been doing so many sponsored videos, but I need to do them because I'm paying Crystal to help me run this channel, and it helps her be able to pay her rent. I like it when my Crystal and my David have a place to live. I think that is everything for now, so I'm gonna go take off. I hope you have a lovely day. You get 300 awesome points for making it to the end of this video, and hopefully I'll see you later. Bye! Once again, if you would like to get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days, you can go to audible.com slash echo Gillette, or text Echo Gillette to 500, 500 That's what my lights look like. Do you see how cheap I am? I used to have soft boxes, but now I've just got like an octopus lamp. <laughs>